Hey guys, it's Tag from Data 6 and this video is a little bit different from what I've been doing. Uh, there's no exercises tonight. Uh, however, I am working or thinking of a part two for that because I've kind of got a lot of, a lot of uh, interesting feedback, not on the YouTube channel, but like at work and people that I know that have seen it. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of thinking a little bit of a, a part two to that, but um, today's video is kind of something that's kind of selfish. Um, I bought myself something and it's kind of just for me to do, but I'm going to do it with the kids. Um, and I just think the boys are the only ones who are going to want to do it. Maybe, maybe you know, kid number four might want to do it. Uh, she's in a little bit of everything and she's the one that was doing most, you know, a lot of the shooting on the other videos that we had. But uh, the uh, thing that I got, um, I bought myself a neodymium magnet and this one is two and a half inches in diameter and uh, it's got a 250 pound pull on it and so I'm going to show you how to set up something so that I can start going magnet fishing. Um, we have a lot of uh, rivers around here and creeks that have bridges that go over it and there's no telling what's been thrown out of car windows and fishing poles, I don't want to say guns but you know you never know, knives, whatever. Um, so I'm going to do the unboxing of this magnet and then show you how I'm going to set it up for, for me to do magnet fishing. Alright, the things you'll need to do to set up a magnet fishing rig will be of course the magnet, some thread lock, and some rope. Um, before I unbox this magnet it's packed in some styrofoam and a cardboard box. I'll just to give you an idea of the strength of this thing. Um, you know, of course, it's not going to be completely stuck to it with those items in between. But that was just that was just to show you the magnetism. So first, we'll go ahead and unbox this magnet. Um, most of them come with a set ring that's welded to a thread on the top or some of them come with a an eyelet with a hole that goes through and the screw goes up through the bottom this isn't set up like that and this is what you'll need the thread locker in to make sure that that thread doesn't come loose um, it looks like this has already had this already has thread locker on it uh, so we're not going to need to worry about that so I have some thread lock that I don't need now um, these are pretty strong magnets. You got to be careful with these things that you don't get your fingers caught in between the magnet and a piece of steel or a piece of iron. Um, I mean, that's gonna that could cause some damage. So the next thing we need to do is get your rope ready. And this is just some cheap marine grade or marine nylon rope. It's inexpensive, but it's got some pretty good strength to it. But with it being this plastic rope, you know, we want to make sure that the ends don't fray. So anytime I have this rope, I go ahead and I melt the ends just to guarantee that the rope's not going to come unraveled. shape it a little bit. Mm. Sticking to my fingers. Okay. Now, when tying these sort of things, I like to use a Palomar knot. Um, it's a fishing knot for tying hooks on. Um, they really you can't come they can't come loose and that's why I choose to do that one and uh, to make a Palomar knot you want to take your length of rope I burnt my fingers um, kind of like like so you just fold it over and we're going to put the loop 
through the ring like so Put a little more rope in there and then we're going to tie our loop through like so and then we're going to take this open ring and put it through the ring like that and then work the knot in so I can guarantee you that this isn't going to slip I hate to lose a magnet you just spent money on that is a Palomar knot alright guys well that's how you tie the rig for magnet fishing um, I chose that size magnet to start off with first so that if I do lose it I'm not out a whole lot of money but uh, they have magnets that have like close to 500 and 550 pounds of uh, pull but uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes um, the kids are going to be out of school within a week and I have, I'll have some time off from work and just look forward to seeing some videos in the next couple, couple of weeks for where we take time to do a little magnet fishing in some of these rivers and creeks um, there's actually a couple fishing lakes nearby that we may go to and see if anybody dropped anything off one of the piers or off some of the bank fishing with that magnet um, who knows? Who knows what we'll find? I want to wish everyone a happy holiday. Everyone stay safe. I want to wish all the uh, servicemen that aren't home, back, you know, that aren't home in the states, you know, happy holidays. We're thinking about you, and uh, we do appreciate everything that you do. Merry Christmas, everybody.